I am Dr. Anthony Atala, director of the Wake Forest Institute for Regenerative Medicine. We're working on many different tissues, including the skin, which we plant to print, as well as ears, digits, muscle, cartilage, bone, nerve, to be able to replace things such as face structures, limbs and digits, as well as other parts of the body due to the damage incurred by injury. There are many technologies that we use to actually engineer the tissues using the cells. And one of them, for example, is using a printing machine to actually print the cells, just like you would print a piece of paper. But instead of using ink, you're actually using cells. Another technique that we use is to grow patient cells and place them on 3D biodegradable molds to create entire complex organs like this bladder. After eight weeks of incubation and growth, the new organ can be transplanted. There is no risk of rejection because the cells grew from the patient's own cells. Every part of the body has cells capable of regeneration. Your heart cell can make more heart cells and so on. We've engineered blood vessels and you can actually see them pulsing. We've made over 22 types of tissues so far, including muscles that can expand and contract. In theory, anything that is inside the body can be grown outside the body. The dream of regenerative medicine is to have fully functional, off-the-shelf organs and tissues to replace diseased or damaged organs in the body. We really hope that these technologies will be able to not only help improve lives in terms of quality, but eventually also save lives.